Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Tallahassee, Florida, for week five of the 2019 college football season, presented by JT Plays. This week's matchup, number 23, Wake Forest, who will be playing their first ACC conference game of the year against Florida State, who is leading the ACC Atlantic standings at 1-1 one and one in conference play. Wake Forest, the only Atlantic team in the ACC to remain undefeated, though they were not by big wins, and both of them were by comebacks, nonetheless, they are still undefeated. They'll look to keep that streak going today against the Knolls of Florida State. Duke Campbell Stadium is our set, and we are proud to have you here, ladies and gentlemen. Should be a lot of fun. Wayne Haynes, currently your Heisman leader for the Deacons, and Richie Miles, well, he'll look to rebound after a underperformance against Indiana just a couple weeks ago. But kickoff is about to go down. We are set. We're glad to have you. Let's get underway. Four minutes ago in the first quarter here, Wake Forest with the ball. Wayne Haynes on a second and two picks up nine. That's a new set of chains. That leads to a second and six. 2.50 to go in the first quarter. Miles has J.D. Horn over the middle of the field through the hash marks. And that's 16 yards by the tight end J.D. Horton. So Wake Forest moving the ball very fluently. Second and three for the Deacons. 140 to go. A little dump out to Lucas. And Wesley Lucas, the backup tight end behind Horton. He picks up a first down as well. Then on first and ten, one play later. Haynes, a little juke move at the end of his run. Picks up ten. So the Deacons in to the red zone. From the 14-yard line of Florida State, give out to Haynes. Haynes has no one in front of him, and he will go all the way down to about the 5. And at the end of the first quarter, it is 0-0. But Wake Forest from the Florida State 5 is threatening. Let's see if they can make anything happen. Third and goal now from the 6th. couple plays later, it'll be Richie Miles and Wayne Haynes in the backfield. I formation. Miles under pressure, he'll throw it away and it will be incomplete. So Miles will come off the field, Adam King comes on and the field goal is good. First score today here in Tallahassee, Deacons with a field goal, 3-0 the score. Let's go to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville and Virginia Tech, the team that Wake Forest will face next week, currently tied 7 all For Wake Forest, they would love to see Louisville win that. Back to our game here. Florida State now with the ball. And this is Bell. And Bell will go all the way down. 26-yard reception. Jimmy Bell there for the Knolls. And then on second and four, that is Mark Palmer, the slot receiver catching there. Kyle Frank looking good so far for the Seminoles. Little screen to Jimmy Bell. He's got room on the outside. One man to beat Chad Wilson. Pushes him out of bounds at the five-yard line. Bell, two catches, 57 yards for Frank. He's at 57 yards as well. From the five, hand off to Haas. And Haas will go home. Zach Haas into the end zone for the Knowles. And Florida State will go up in front. 7-3. So now 150 to go in the first half here from Doe Campbell Arena Stadium. That's a fumble by Wake Forest, but they do recover. Good heads up play by the O-lineman there. And that will bring on Adam King for a 45-yard field goal. This one just squeaks by the uprights. And we have another studio update. Back to Kentucky. 21-13 now to score Louisville. They're starting to run away with it, but just like our game, another half of football to go. Deacons, by the way, are not favored in this game. Florida State is by Herb Street and the college football community. So, in our game, we go back, and this is the possession after the Adam King field goal. Marcus Brown starts the Mills off with a 24-yard catch and a run then from the midfield mark here. This is, again, Jimmy Bell. Name been called three times already and for good reason, making good plays. Second and two now from the Wake Forest 30-yard line, 29-yard line. If you want to get technical, Frank 
Three step drop. He shimmies in the pocket. Finds who else? Jimmy Bell one more time. Already four catches, nearing 100 yards for Bell. And the Knolls are in the red zone from the Deacon 15. Jackson man in motion. And it's going to be a pass, Frank. And that is Mark Palmer into the end zone. No help from the safeties. And at halftime, Florida State up 14 to 6. Defense for the Demon Deacons, you like it, but you would like to see better. Offense, well, Wayne Haynes really hasn't been going all game long. Matt Burns, his name hasn't been called. And really, the only Deacon getting noticed is J.D. Horton. And that's about it. So a lot has to change in the second half here in Tallahassee. Uh, Jimmy Bell, he's got to be stopped. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, really nothing else you can say about the Knowles. Mark Palmer, you would like to see him get stopped on plays like you just saw before half. The O-line has given up four sacks. That needs to calm down a bit. Calm down a bit, excuse me. And uh, really nothing else you can change. Pass yards, Florida State up by five. Rush yards, Florida State up by four. But time of possession, 16 minutes, only a four minutes. Wake Forest has the favor. So uh, time of possession, you got to be more uh, intelligent with your drives is the way of putting it. You got to put the ball in the end zone or through the uprights one way or another. So far, Adam King, the only score, six points. Back in the second half, now nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Wake Forest, a ball, Rich Miles, quarterback keeper. He spins and picks up a first down. Maybe if he kept going to the left, he would have had a touchdown, but that's behind us now. First and ten, Miles, three-step drop. He looks, and he will go down. That is a Florida State sack. And the first one by the left side of Florida State's D-line. Miles on second and 17 rolls out left. He picks up seven. That will bring up a third and nine. Now third and nine from about midfield. Miles looking. He'll take off. He gets past one. He gets hit. He fumbles. And this time the Knowles will recover. No Deacons there to have a chance. Florida State forcing Richie Miles. Two fumbles on the day. One lost, and that was it right there. Safety Duncan for Florida State came in, hit Miles hard, and now it's Knowles' ball already up by more than a possession. Frank to Mitchell. That's Brian Mitchell getting his name called for the first time. 14 yards there for Mitchell, 22 yards total on two catches. Florida State would end up getting a field goal on that play. So nothing too, too bad, but the same old song and dance. Richie Miles down again. Aaron Walton, second time sacking Miles. He uh, He's having a busy day already. Florida State ball after the punt. And on third and seven, the Deacon defense would finally wake up. Fourth and four, and arguably a very bad call from the Seminoles special teams coach. He would go for... A 52-yarder, and that one's just plain missed to the right. Studio update. Louisville, still up 28-21. Uh, guess what? They would actually end up win the game. They would go on to win the game over Virginia Tech. So, Wake Forest's dreams, well, at least for that game, are checked off. Virginia Tech loses. But now they have to get through their game. And they need a miracle. Down 11. They haven't got anything going all day. Matt Burns. We said it at the halftime report. We need to call his name more. He hasn't done anything. There you go. First catch for Burns. Then Horton. The guy seemingly doing everything for the Deacons today. On offense. Anyway. That's a good catch and run to break some tackles. And just like that, we're inside the Knowles 25. Give off to Haynes. He's got speed. He'll use it. Down to the 2, and he's in the end zone. Wayne Haynes hasn't woken up yet. And finally, he cracks the code on the Knowles defense. Found a couple holes, and better blocking led the way for the touchdown. FSU would go 3 and out, and it's 17 to 13. 5.30 to go in the fourth quarter. Final chance for the Deacons, you would presume. That is my, uh, Mickey Carter, sorry. 
His first catch, it only goes for six. No forward momentum, brings up a big decision. Fourth and one, Deacons go for it. I formation, Johnny Andrews is in, Richie Miles, wind out with an injury, he'll be out three weeks. And that's a first down for Wayne Haynes, good seven yard pickup. Now second and two, again, Haynes in the backfield, he's got Andrews in front of him. Haynes, handoff one more time, he gets popped, but it's an 11 yard rush and the clock keeps ticking. 2.40 to go, Haynes on second and two, picks up five. And with two and a half minutes to go, we have ourselves a ball game. 2.15 to go now. This one, going to be a pass, not a handoff to Horton. Horton breaks, tackles, it's first and goal for the Deacons. And on first and goal with a minute 40 left in the ball game, Wayne Haynes, the Heisman leader, showing why. Into the end zone for the Deacons. And on the drive, six carries, 33 yards, average five. And the Deacons have a three point lead but the game is not over you have to finish your job before you can leave 2017 Florida State ball Frank first pass Jimmy Bell 10 yards actually 15 with forward progress 115 left now clock continues to run Frank three-step drop and the defense is not there for the Deacons Chris Mullins looked to be perfectly on route but he fell short, maybe he slipped, something happened. It's a first down, Knowles. After an incompletion, 106 to go. The Knowles are on the Deacon, 42. Frank takes off, he dodges one. It's a fumble, they fall on it. And it'll be third and a mile. Third and 18, a big third down play here. Frank, three step drop, pressure coming, misses. This one, double coverage. Knowles come down with it, Adam Burgess. First time calling his number, huge catch for Florida State. First and 10, 50 seconds left, pressure up the middle. Brian and Mitchell down to the three. In front of the three yard line, the Knowles with 30 seconds left. Kyle Frank would deliver the game winning possession catch to Kyle, or to, sorry, to Mark Palmer. The only time Mark Palmer was wide open was the most heartbreaking one. Andrews, though, not done yet. Anthony Johnson could have ended their dreams in Tallahassee. And if that wasn't good enough, how about Johnny Andrews one more time? This time to Ryan Caldwell on the left side of your screen. He easily could have gone out of bounds if he had caught it. But he wasn't looking, and Florida State will walk out of here with a 24-20 victory over the Deacons. Next week, the Deacons take on Virginia Tech Hokies in Virginia. Should be a fun one. Hokies, number nine when it was all said and done. They'll take on the unranked Deacons. For the Demon Deacons, it's their first ACC play of the year, and is and it is also their first loss. They'll look to go 1-1 one one in conference play. After Virginia Tech, they have Duke, Kentucky, Syracuse. With that said, we thank you for watching this presentation of Wake Forest Football. Once again, your final from Doe Cable Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. 24-20, Knowles win.